What's up guys, this is the Try Hard Gamer coming at you again, and last time we left off, um, we beat the game on standard, and we got the Raiden gun. It's been killing me because I haven't gotten a chance to try this out yet, and I wanted to do it for you guys on YouTube, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do a hardcore run, I've not done hard, hardcore yet, with the Raiden gun. Um... And we're going to skip all of the cutscenes and uh, see how fast we can get through it as well. See if we can improve on uh, the rank I got, which was, I believe, C last time, which was pretty terrible. Okay, so stronger enemies, ammunition, and items are scarce. Um, receive less ammunition when crafting. This should be interesting with that crafting companion. All right, so here we go. Be a lot of cutscenes to get through. I think this one has way more cutscenes than Resident Evil 2 Remake, which can be good or bad depending on how you look at it. Who could that be? That is Nemesis. Run, Jill. Gotta get out of here. This isn't gonna be a full speed run. Like, I'm not, I mean, if I get no S, that would be amazing, but um, I'm not expecting to get S at all. I just am using this as practice to see how fast I can get through it. I pretty much know where everything's at. Um, I know the boss fights, although I'm sure that on Hardcore, um, the boss fights are probably going to be a lot harder, especially the final um, Resident Evil, or sorry, the, fi the final um, Nemesis, final Nemesis fight. Okay. What was that thing? How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Hey! Hey, wait! Down here! Just want to get through this to try out that riding gun. It's so excited. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going 
going out there? The parking garage isn't far. I can the take it. The only safe place is in here. Eventually, um... Once I get better at the game, I'll do a uh, hardcore nightmare in Inferno without um, any of the bonus items, or at least the bonus guns. I might still keep the lockpick and the um, and the bolt cutters. We'll see. Now, if you guys watched the last video, you remember what happened. Let's see if I can do this a little better than I did last time. There we go. That practice paid off. Come on. I don't know why it keeps going. Yeah, we know Nemesis is coming after us. Oh, come on. Start, damn it. It's my turn, bitch. Get away from me. I think we're... Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, By the way, <laughs> have any of you seen... Nothing. i never seen um, anything like it. The videos no on YouTube of, um, I can't remember the, like the that, guy's man? channel name, but no, thanks. he did, He's like, uh, heightened animations for facial expressions <laughs> on Resident Evil 2. Promise you're in good hands. It is absolutely hilarious. If any of you guys get a chance, just type that into YouTube, you something me? like, um, fucking kidding facial you animations 500 and 1,000. What are you talking about? Uh, for you Resident Evil 2, and it, I to swear to God, me. you'll bust your gut laughing. In. It's hilarious. Come on, it's this way. I'm waiting on him to do something for Resident Evil 3. Okay, first things first. All right, let's up. get that, uh... Head up to street level. Ride and gun. All right. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. So given that I don't know how powerful this riding gun is, um, I may or may not have to use a regular handgun. Um, from some of the videos that I've seen, it's pretty damn powerful. Um, let's see here. Where's that? There's the riding. You know what? Let's let's just have some fun. Let's do that. Um, it's gonna leave us with limited options here as far as space, but why not? We come here to have fun, right? Let's see if this thing breaks. Ooh. Nice. I'll still be picking up um, ammo just in case, because again, this is this is still hardcore. 
know what? Let's let's be ballsy. Let's put the knife away. Let's be ballsy there. Let's go ahead and save. It's gonna be a third one down. More survivors. We've gotta get that train moving. Wow. Wow. Sort of operates the way the, the Magnum did in the old, um... Oh. My god. So I'm guessing it's... A <laughs> it's an automatic, uh... Crit gun? Is what it's looking like? That's OP as hell. That should be interesting. I wonder how it operates for bosses. Yeah, examining items, I know. Alright. Um, well, I mean, the way they made this game, you have to be, like, the boss fights are a lot more technical rather than just uh, firing a hail, you know, a hail with bullets or whatever, so I may need to use other Carlos, weapons. I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? I know for sure on the... I believe it's the second Resident Evil... I keep saying Resident Evil. Uh, the second Nemesis boss fight. Um, I know for sure I'm going to need the grenade launcher for that, so that's a, that's a for sure thing. Yeah, I think we're going to take out every zombie we come across just so we can get as many uh, points as possible. My god. Yeah, this thing's amazing. grenades for Nemesis if we want the gun hand hand, uh, hand upgrades. Handgun upgrades. Um, but here's the thing. <laughs> With this thing, I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna need the handgun at all. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, examine. Should we save? Yeah, let's go ahead and save. This is hardcore, so... You might be asking why I'm uh, gathering handgun bullets. But I don't need them. Well, I like to play it safe, especially in hardcore. We could get to an area that we need a handgun for some odd reason. Um, and uh, I would rather have the ammo in hardcore. Uh, rather than not have it. Oh, he's in a different spot. That one there on the left. Now, the way that, um... The way that this gun was described is it only does massive damage. You know what I did not grab? I can't believe I did this. Um, it only does massive damage if you hit critical points. So that kind of stops it from...
being game breaking, but this is sort of, a, I guess, a, a game breaking gun. I mean, Jesus. Instacrits. What? He's got to be dead, right? Didn't see his head explode. No zombies over here? Man, they did move stuff around. That's interesting to see that. They sort of had a variation of that in um, RE2 Remake. Where some of the puzzles were different, but... Zombie placement being different? I don't exactly remember that. You guys are watching this in the comments. Um, tell me if... Uh, remind me if I'm incorrect about that. But I don't think there were different zombie placements in Hardcore. I think just the difference was, was how hard the zombies uh, hit and how much damage they did to you. Let's go ahead and kill him. I know he gets up later. Oh. Okay, remember last time we got to this room and there were certain things I couldn't pick up? Looks like it's going to be the same. So let's go ahead and bank some of this stuff in the back. And then we'll come and get that shotgun just to get it in case we need it. And for any of you saying I'm cheating using the, uh, the riding gun on hardcore, that's fine. Um... I got the game because I like to play it, right? And I want to try try out everything that they have. So, again, eventually I'll be doing a um, I'll be doing a a run, a hardcore run without the unlockables. But for now, we're just here to have fun, and that's what playing video games is all about, right? After all, his channel was dedicated to the non-hardcore gamers. Uh, I guess, rather than hardcore, because you might be a hardcore gamer, I just want to say non-god level, level, right? By the way, shout out to Darkness. Uh, you, you probably heard me mention him in my last um, video. He, I believe, was the first ever to do an Inferno run. Knife only. Um, the footage is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. He did a fantastic job. I was watching it the other day, and the, uh, the last this boss fight, subway company's offices. um, was, it, it, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy for what, what he was doing. Because, oh, I mean, you guys remember from the video, last videos I put up with the, the last Nemesis boss fight, um, you can't push the cells in, the power cells in, unless you knock the, knock the sacks out um, that are on his body. And since he was knife, knife only, he couldn't do that. So he just had, had to dodge every attack that, that Nemesis was throwing at him. And it, he was like memorizing the, uh, the attack patterns. It was like four in a row and six in a row. And he was dodging every single one of them. Absolutely insane. Just crazy, crazy. Do I need this yet? I don't think I need that anymore for now. Go ahead and make that. I'm not going to get the safe up there. Oh! Forgot about him again. See how much damage uh, he did to me. I always forget about that one. Oh, 
been fine. Might have been just because he uh, attacked my leg, though. Let's see if um, the numbers changed. 937. No, they're the same on hardcore. We are. Let's see. Yes, I know about that. Um, we're gonna go back. Well, let's bank items again. This is always the rough part of uh, doing YouTube videos for this game, this area right here, because I know you guys get bored of me going back and banking items over and over, but I've not gotten the extra hit pouches yet um, from the shop. And uh, at the very beginning, you're, there's things left and right that you need to pick up that are important, so. Not gonna get the, uh, the handgun upgrade that's in that safe because I feel like we don't need it. Um, except for that one little mishap, I think we are, uh, we're doing really well as far as taking zombies out. I mean, hitting, hitting the head's a one-hit kill. I remember he's over here. And, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's looking like... So it's looking like, uh, shots to the neck. Um, other than a regular bite to the leg is going to put you immediately in danger, just like RE2. Is he still alive? First aid spray. So let's go ahead and use that. Um, go ahead and unlock this. Oh, don't want to examine. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. 